Hi everybody, it's Each Zimmer, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little bit of a weird video today. It's, um, well, a lot of people do things like this. But today I'm recreating a 4th of July decoration in The Sims 4. So yes, another 4th of July video. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, should I just create a whole playlist, 4th of July? No, I won't, I won't make 4th of July series. I promise this is gonna be the last one for now. <laughs> I'm not going to post 4th of July next week. Hopefully. Do you know what? Don't hold me. Don't hold me to it. I might. <laughs> I might have more ideas. But, um, yeah, sorry to anyone who doesn't live in the U.S. <laughs> but today, basically, I went to my grandma's house for the 4th of July. And I saw this decoration there. And I wanted to recreate it in The Sims. So, why not? <laughs> so, I had some problems with making this. Um, some with OBS, which I already hate OBS. OBS is very annoying. But the first problem you see is with that roof. Because the roof is weird on the side and it goes like it the roof like you can't have two different how am I supposed to show this? Like two different like two <laughs> what whatever. Two different angles on each side of the gabled roof. Um, but keep it kind of the same as the other side. If that makes sense, you see what I did. And then the second one was with this front bit of the roof. I couldn't make that work quite correctly, but I think I got it to a point where it was okay. Um, you'll see that later on. And then also, <laughs> you know, when you do recreating and stuff, not everything's going to be perfect. And you kind of got to think, is it... Should it be perfect in the little details or all together? And one of those things is with the windows. The windows are blue, but the frame is white, but it just has blue shutters. Um, but this one has, I can either have a white frame with black shutters or a blue frame with blue shutters. And I decided that the black ones look more like what the actual thing is. And yeah, there's a lot of things that are like, you can't have everything perfect. Um, so yeah, not everything turned out exact, but I think I did it close enough where it resembles it, kind of. Um, and then the OBS problems with this. I hate OBS already. Um, OBS is quite annoying with their whole... They record things laggy, and I know they want me to turn down settings and stuff, but I still want to have a high-quality video. So if people know how to help me with that, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big pro at OBS. I know how to put my face cam here with the border and I, the whole settings thing, I just try not to go in there because you can mess things up a lot by just changing all that stuff. But I don't exactly know how to keep it high quality but record correctly. Like see here, it's getting a little bit laggy. It used to be like this maybe a year ago, a little bit less than a year ago. I used to have problems with this a lot. Um, but then it all went away because I started like muting my mic while I was recording the background and turning off my face cam because I just used to make my face cam an under layer, but now I actually like turn it off. Um, but yeah, uh, I forgot to do that. I think it might've been because I had it running on a different scene. So that might be my problem because I recorded a whole different video too and it didn't work. So gonna have to scrap that one or I'm gonna have to make a compromise but you'll see that one on Monday if it comes and I'll let you know if it's the same one I was talking about here but yeah it gets a little bit laggy and that's not great but no it's okay because you'll see the screenshots at the end I'll talk through this um, it's not like it's just a blank, laggy screen because you can still see me and I can talk to you, so. Um, hopefully I'm not annoying. People mute me. <laughs> Do you ever mute me when I'm on my speed build so you don't have to listen to me talk? <laughs> um, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully I'm not that annoying. But I did do a lot of things because there's that whole fence in the front. And the fence was really close to the house. Probably because it was a decoration that's not made for living in. But yeah, I had to do things with that. Like the little stilt things have little like red circles, little red spheres on the top of them. And I used yarn balls. I sized up yarn balls 
and use them. Also for that little circle on the little arch, which is not something. <laughs> um, no more bloopers. I already have like 16 bloopers for this um, video voiceover. I already, this is like the fifth attempt. <laughs> um, blooper video coming soon. But um, also with those little banner thingies, those were a problem because it's red, white, and blue for the 4th of July, but they have red and white snowflakes, or they have blue. And I think I went with the blue, but for a while you'll see the snowflakes. Also with the flag, I used one that was red, white, and blue, but obviously it doesn't look anything like the American flag, but, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I think it looks close enough. I think I did decent um you can let me know in the comments hopefully people aren't mean but yeah um this was quite a strange thing to do and i think it turned out okay and at the end also you'll see in the screenshots i did add with the little party boxing the decoration box i did add little ribbons on the on the fence but since it's just fences you just select fences and then ribbons um, you don't get to select where it went on all the fences, so, you know, um, I don't think that was totally exact either, but it was close enough, so, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, this laggy video, I'm sorry, um, but make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe if you have not already, because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I stream every Sunday at 6pm Pacific Time, and shorts every Tuesday, Thursday. Bye, everybody.